Chris, WahhabiKing.com, and welcome to the product profile of the Turn G 3D printer. So the Turnergy 3D printer is sold as a DIY kit. Even though it is broken down into modular components, it does require some assembly and that's what we're going to be covering in this series. We're going to follow up the series with some how-to tutorials on uh, the operation, pre-setups, uh, software, troubleshooting guides, so definitely check those out as well. But in this one, let's just get it assembled and get you guys up and running on the 3D printer. So we're going to be following the assembly manual that comes with this, and this is a very intuitive manual. It is written for a wide range of users, whether you're just a beginner and maybe not so mechanically inclined to the advanced users that are, are familiar with uh, assembling RC helicopters. Regardless, we want everyone to be 100% successful, so stick with us through this tutorial as we go through this guide, and we're going to go step by step and get this put together. So before we just rip open this box and spread all the parts everywhere, let's talk about what we need to assemble this printer. First thing is a large flat surface to uh, basically put these components out and get the assembly. We definitely want a nice flat surface like a, a countertop, a tabletop, or, or a nice wood uh, top like this because we do have some tramming procedures which means we've got to do some alignment and try to get things uh, as square as possible. So a nice big flat surface uh, to get everything laid out on that. Next we're going to need some hand tools. Now if you don't have uh, basic hand tools, definitely pick up the uh, Turnergy uh, Printer Essential Kit. The Printer Essential Kit comes with every tool required for the assembly of the printer itself, as well as some extras that are for the operation. Let me go ahead and open up this kit. We'll go through the tools that are required for the assembly of the printer. So I have the Turnergy 3D Printer Essential Kit laid out right over here. Uh, like I was mentioning, if you don't have some basic hand tools, go ahead and pick this up, and it has some tools designed for the operation of the printer. Let's go ahead and separate those out because we're not going to need those for the assembly process. It's going to be the cleaning brush, capped on tape, and the, uh, the little sharp tweezers. Definitely want a, a nice pair of those. Uh, the, uh, the big Phillips, uh, this is just for uh, maintenance. Um, and the rest of these tools we're going to use in one way or another for the, uh, the operation. As far as screwdrivers are concerned, the number one key screwdriver that you're going to need is this little shorty uh, flat blade. And the reason for this is that on the back of this panel right over here, we've got some uh, wires that come in with um, a bus bar, and we need this thin style flat blade versus this thicker style flat blade uh, so that it can drop into the hole itself without uh, gouging the plastic. So definitely make sure you got one of those picked up. As far as the tools over here, your number one tool that you're going to need is hex uh, drivers. Hex drivers from 2 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, and 3 millimeter. Get a good quality pair of hex drivers because what happens is uh, you, you get uh, roundy on these tips, and uh, they're basically this entire printer is assembled with hex screws. So make sure you got a good pair of hex drivers and an L so you can get a little more torque on some of these components itself. As far as pliers are concerned, uh, just get a nice pair of needle nose. You're going to have to get like some of these belts where we're feeding it through. You're going to need to get in there with either the tweezers or the, the needle nose and pull it on through. And the other critical one is a nice pair of little side cutters for the zip ties themselves. Wrenches. Uh, there's a couple bolts on this that you're going to need uh, a set of wrenches. So the size range you're going to need is basically 5.5 millimeters through 12 millimeters. So if you got yourself a couple of uh, open box ends like this, you're going to be A-OK -okay for the, uh, the 3D printer build. So now that we know what we need, nice big clean flat surface, some basic hand tools, let's go ahead and dive right into the manual and get started on the assembly. <laughs> 